Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is the Largely Catechized Life. Okay, so my four-year-old knows that my first name is Harrison, but he still calls me dad. The Donald is now President Trump. Whatever you want to say about him, he has a role to play now. He's the president. My members, they don't call me Harrison or even Pastor Harrison. They call me Pastor Goodman. And it's not just that this is how we show respect by using the proper title. This is a confession of faith. This is a confession of hope that God will actually work through the office that he has given these men into. God will be the one to get stuff done through this guy. And that's important because honestly, I don't want the guy. I want the help. The reason that my son calls out dad in the middle of the night when he has a bad dream or even just when he wants a snack is because, well, Harrison isn't going to do. He needs the monster smasher, which is dad. He needs the pretzel getter, which is dad. There's a reason that we use this term President Trump. It, it's not just that we're trying to show respect to an office, but it's that with saying President Trump, we are saying God has promised to work through the office of a president. And I don't really want the man. I want the help. The reason that I am not Pastor Harrison to my people is because really to them, Pastor is my first name. Pastor is the one that's going to help them because Harrison has nothing for them. Harrison is not smart enough or wise enough or funny enough. These people are older than me. They have been Lutheran a whole lot longer than me. Most of them are a whole lot smarter than me. But God has promised to work through Pastor. So my first name is Dad. My first name is Pastor. And our president's first name is President. And this right here is the hope that we say. Luther writes, therefore, only do what is your duty and let God take care of how he is to support you and provide for you sufficiently. Since he has promised it and has never yet lied, he will not be found lying to you. This is really, really important because it actually lets you start to deal with the fact that there are sinners who hold office all around you. You can say, I didn't vote for this guy and now he's the president and I got a lot of problems with what's going on. You can say, my pastor is old and he can't even work the internet and his sermons are too long. You can say that my parents just don't understand me and it's okay because, well, God is still going to work through them. And so firmly can we say this, that we actually put aside their quirks and their flaws and their sins and all the warts on their noses, and we call them, well, God's own hands. We call them by the places where God has promised to work. We call them mom and dad. We call them president. We call them pastor. And then we don't worry so much because at the end of the day, God has not lied to you yet. Christ has been crucified and raised for you. You are a baptized child of God. You have been so firmly sealed unto the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting that God has no choice but to carry you from here all the way to there. And so in the meanwhile, just worry about your neighbor. You still have a calling, but, but most of all, you have a God who has already promised to deliver to you all of the gifts that he needs to, even, even if it's through sinners. Let him worry about the big stuff, even, even in an imperfect world. He will bring you through it. He will get you by, even if it's sinful and all busted up. That's actually sort of the point. God works here. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. What I'm going to worry about is my neighbor's needs. What I'm going to worry about is doing my best to serve my neighbor, to honor my father and my mother. Because here, well, God's going to work. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org, clicking on support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran.